Friends, Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. Today I have Thundercats Ultimates Snarf from Super 7. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thundercats, ho. Uh, yeah, so we're finally, finally, finally getting Snarf. Uh, I gotta admit it was a little bit disappointing that we didn't get him in an Ultimate 2 pack with Lion-O. For instance, Mamra came with Mamut, but Lion-O didn't come with Snarf, which just didn't make sense. And then they decided to release Snarf as an individual figure. <laughs> uh, we can all surmise the reason for that, which is fine, which is fine. I'll pay money for Snarf. But uh, yeah, so we finally have him. All we need is the Thunder Twins and Snarfer, and we have the entire team of Thundercats as we've known them on the original show, which is very, very exciting. So uh, I'm very happy to get this. Let's bust this baby open and check them out. So just in case you guys know, they're no longer doing the brown mailers. So uh, he just came in the typical plastic bag. Uh, they're trying to save money due to inflation and all the ramifications of the pandemic. So now we just get them in the really nice collector's box, which is fine. I didn't really need the brown mailers. Anyhow, uh, they're just good for collector's value. But anyhow, so here's what the front of the package looks like. You get the wonderful Thundercats logo on the front, the classic 80s logo written out. Um, there it is on the back again. Uh, it says Ultimates on the top. All the little manufacturer details on the bottom. Let's pull off the slip cover and get a look at our man Snarf. And he looks great, man. I have to say, uh, Super 7 finally got their act together in terms of quality control. Uh, for instance, Tigra, how just disappointing Tigra was. Even Chitara. Um, you know, going from the, the demo images to what the product actually looked like. Like, this looks great. Like, Snarf looks great. I have no complaints about this. Quality looks fantastic. So, I'm excited to bust him open. Uh, <laughs> here's, here's what he looks like on the back with that painted image. Gotta say, I'm not really a fan. Uh, looks something out of a... A horror story, or uh, maybe like the labyrinth. Um, just uh, not quite how I remember Snarf, but uh, good try, good try. Uh, so there it says Snarf, and there's a little bio. It says Snarf Osbert, which is his actual name, or Snarf as he prefers to be known, was young Lino's nursemaid. After Lino grew up on the way to Third Earth, Snarf remained his devoted caregiver, sometimes much to Lino's chagrin. Yeah, uh, Snarf could be very annoying. While Snarf could be pessimistic and lacks the skills of a warrior, he can also be brave and agile when necessary. Honorable, true, just, and loyal, Snarf embodies the Code of Thundera, but he adds a compassion all his own. Yeah, I mean, Snarf is the nursemaid. That's such an in interesting choice of uh, calling him... The nursemaid, I would have preferred like valet or butler or manservant. Uh, <laughs> nursemaid denotes feminine as if he's like milking Lion-O or, or providing milk and sustenance for Lion-O, which I just felt was really odd because Snarf's a dude. He's not, he's not a girl as far as I know. Um, so maybe like valet or butler versus a uh, nursemaid, even though Lino was a little kid and, and Snarf was responsible for him. Um, furthermore, I, I like to think of Snarf as like uh, Lino Samwise Gamgee to Frodo, sort of that comparison in the Lord of the Rings. He was always by Lino's side. He was always loyal. He always ris risked his neck. Um, he was just a great loyal friend to Lino. So, let's bust this open. Uh, I cut the tape on the top already. And we're going to pull this figure out and get a great look at what looks like a gorgeous figure already. 
Uh, and there he is. He looks fantastic. There was a, a twisty tie that I already cut off. And we're just going to pull him right out and get a good look at him. And on a, upon first look, he looks great. I love this base mold. Um, just like the fear in his eyes. Uh, Snarf was always worried and scared. And whoa, look at that articulation in the neck. That is outstanding articulation for Super 7. I don't think any Thundercats heads move that dynamically as Snarfs do here. It actually feels like loose. Normally it's very tight, but wow, that is incredible. Uh, he can go up that high, down that low. Let's get a look at the other articulation. We got shoulder joints. The shoulders can go up this high. Uh, we have elbow joints. It doesn't quite go 90. Super 7 is bad with that. That's a disappointing thing about Super 7. Using the old uh, Masters of the Universe Classics body mold, um, I just, I'm a fan of lots of articulation. We're talking Toy Biz, um, articulated toes level of articulation. And uh, that was one of the disappointing things about the Thundercats figures as a kid is they barely had any articulation. So when we got uh, these figures, it was very exciting. Anyhow, so we got rotation in the elbow. We got rotation in the wrist. Uh, we got a hinge on the wrist. We can go up and down like so. Uh, what else? Um, really nice looking hands. You can see the little claws. They feel sharp to the touch. Just really nice detail. They're shading uh, on the belly here. Um, like browns and yellows going into the sort of a peach color uh, on the belly. Uh, let's get a look at these hips. There is no torso articulation, so there's nothing there. Um, this seems to be on a ball joint on the hip there, so there is a little bit of articulation there. Uh, the legs can go up that high. Uh, there is a knee joint, but it really doesn't seem to do anything at all. Um, we can bend maybe just like a fraction. Like that's, that's kind of silly, but it's there. There's rotation there. Lots of articulation on the feet, though, uh, in the ankles. So we have nice dynamic movement on the feet. That's what, Oh, there's a little port uh, by the big toe um, on the front pad of the foot. Uh, we also have ankle pivot. So you can pivot that as well. So decent articulation in the legs, uh, even though it seems a little bit pointless with this knee joint. It's like <laughs> it barely moves. It's like, why is that even on there? I don't know. Uh, and last but not least, it comes on the stand for the tail. Uh, so the tail articulates a little bit. Uh, we can move it up like so. Uh, it's just rotation here, which is kind of silly. Um, I wish they would have put a joint right there. Um, that would have been really nice. And honestly, I don't think I would ever remove this tail if they just had one more point of articulation there. But they decided to have it as a as a firm stand, which which is fine. I don't I don't blame them. But really nice. I, I really enjoy this stand, and I'm not sure uh, what tail I'm gonna put on him. So what else do we got? We have two additional heads. So here's a, a fierce head. Uh, looks really nice. And this head holds uh, the short sort of omens in his mouth. So you get that option. The sword looks beautiful. I love how they're doing uh, the sort of omens in this metallic sheen now. They started doing that with the snowman lion -o. um but anyhow it's this metallic sheen and you can put it in the mouth like so and snarf can retrieve the sword uh, snarf has hands <laughs> i don't know why he wouldn't uh just pick the sword up with his hands but he put it in his mouth in one of the episodes he is he is a uh, an animal in a way too so Oh, let's see, I'm trying to pop this head on 
it's like super tight. I don't want to snap this joint. This joint is very loose, by the way. But let's see if I can get this head on here. Do it on camera. I might have to heat this up. Yeah. Okay, I can't get that on there. Uh, unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to drill that out a little bit. So it'll get on there. But that's an option. Probably not going to use that anyhow. Uh, what else? We get another head sculpt. Um, it is a happy snarf, uh, which I don't think that's the appropriate head sculpt to use for snarf. Snarf is often worried he, and whining or complaining or reprim reprimanding Lion-O in one way or another. So let's see if I can get this one on. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, I can't get either of these head sculpts on. And if I force it, I'm probably going to snap this off. So that is a negative factor to this because I'm going to have to do extra work and I shouldn't as a collector uh, in order to swap these heads out. So let me know in the comments if anybody else who got Snarf uh, had any problems. So here's the original head sculpt in... Here's the new one, and you can see that this one's just a little bit bigger, which is annoying. Um, well, let's see if I can get the original. Yeah, so the original snaps right back on, but the other two head sculpts do not. So I'm going to have to drill those out a little bit. But anyhow, pretty cool options if uh, you want to use those. What else do we get? Uh, we get uh, another claw shield. So you get a claw shield where the sword uh, can in fact go in the claw shield. And you have that option. Uh, this claw shield does not have the little port uh, that Lino has on his belt. Uh, so I'm kind of, you know, Kind of confused why they didn't include that one. I really like the claw shield that they gave with Pumra that can just slip right over his hand. I think that's the best claw shield that they made. Um, so anyhow, you get this accessory. So you get the claw shield and the sh uh, short sword of omens. And what else do we have? So we get the other tail. So let's check this out. Let's see if I can even get this off and put this on. Ugh. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so the port. Look at that. That's a little peanut. That is a giant fat port. So if you wanted to put this other tail on anyhow... You're not able to because they put the wrong port for it. Wow, shame, 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 Super 7. What an oversight. You can't even put the accessory that came with it on there because the holes don't match. Wow, wow. I can't believe that. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to be using that tail. Um, that would have been fun, though, uh, if I could. But it doesn't, it doesn't match up. Wow. That's really frustrating. So, can't use that tail accessory. <laughs> Super 7, you guys are killing me, guys. You guys are killing me. Um, you guys owe fans another tail with the proper port. Because um, you can't even use it. Unbelievable. Come on, guys. I was just saying how you got your act together. And now you don't. Unbelievable. Okay, so you get a tail, but you can't use it and you can't put it on. So that's going to go back in the graveyard. And what else? We get a um, snarf comes with a purse. Little man purse there. That's like a nice, that's a nice uh, soft plastic strap, which I appreciate. So you can put um, 
Snarf can carry that around if he wants. I'm gonna have to pop the head off. I wanna be very careful. And so that's nice. Snarf comes with a little bag if you want. You can carry around the bag. And what else? We get two other sets of hands. Uh, so we get open claws, which um, I really like. And then you get, um, looks like a holding hand um, where he can hold the Sword of Omens. So let's check this out and see if it fits. Yeah. He can hold the Sword of Omens just like that, the short sword. And I'm actually going to pop that off. And put... Yeah, port that in like so. And there you have Snarf holding the Sword of Omens, which is really nice. And then... And I don't, you know, these default hands, um, I like the claw hands, actually. It just seems more appropriate for Snarf. And then we have the nice claw hands, so. There he is, he looks great. Uh, what else? Last but not least, you get a piece of fruit. Because uh, the Thundercats need to eat. So here's a, a piece of fruit from Third Earth uh, that Snarf can hold on to and there he is and there he is next to Lord Lino himself and uh, I gotta say he's he's a gorgeous figure I'm extremely disappointed that these heads don't fit on him that I'm gonna have to drill them out and I'm also disappointed that this tail accessory doesn't even fit on the figure uh, which, you know, at the beginning of the video, I was trying to discern whether I would display him on the tail like this or on the other tail. And it looks like uh, they answered for me. So anyhow, guys, um, Thundercats Ultimate Snarf by Super 7. Uh, please uh, tell me if you have similar problems in the comments when you get your snarf. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And God bless you all. Thundercats ho!